All right, I for Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. Um, man, these are not the fun vlogs, but I, I tell y'all that I give y'all the culture and I can't ignore my city in the midst of that. Here's, here's Young Dolphin and, and Yo Gotti. Let me just set off this disclaimer. I grew up listening to Yo Gotti's music. I grew up listening to Yo Gotti's music. When I was around middle school, high school, I was put on the Young Dolph's music. I've talked to Young Dolph three times, you know what I'm saying, on three separate occasions, one-on-one. -on -one. I've interviewed Young Dolph two times. I've, honestly, Young Dolph has told me pointers when my brand was in the early stages, when Preach was bubbling. Got nothing but respect for Young Dolph and the whole paper writing empire. Yo Gotti, I love the way he moves. I just like the way the homie operate. I've did his birthday bash three years in a row um, as media. I've been the biggest coverage that Yo Gotti's birthday bash has had. Go do the numbers. Go go check it out. My views on birthday, and I've deleted a lot of the videos, and a lot of them still up. My views from birthday bash has been the most coverage Yo Gotti's birthday bash in Memphis has did every year. That is an absolute fact. The last two years, I've did over 4 million views on birthday bash footage. So you know I got nothing but respect for him. I make a long six, seven hour drive to, to, for birthday bash every year. Nothing but respect for both of these guys. But this probably will be my most viewed blog in quite some time. I know the whole, I, I understand why. I already understand why. I'm from, I'm from Memphis. Everybody didn't know. I'm, I'm from Memphis. I'll just say that. Everybody know what's up. So Memphis, bear with me. If you're from Memphis and y'all tune in, I know I got an esteemed fan base in Memphis. Support base in Memphis. Um, so let me break down some of the story for the rest of the world that's following me. I got people from all over the from all over the country in Toronto and in Jamaica and everywhere that rock with me. So let me break people break stuff down to people and let me catch them up. There's a stigma around the name of Yo Gotti that I've never understood. Never understood this one. Yo Gotti, to me, after signing with Rock Nation is the most successful artist to ever come out of Memphis. I didn't say the best lyricists or none of that. We can get in that conversation for another day. To me, the most successful artist, the, if, you look about, if you look at the people that he's put in position in the city of Memphis, you can argue that there's a 50% a of the city, a good portion of the city from that music standpoint, from the hip-hop standpoint, maybe a little bit more from the club standpoint as well, Privé on down, you can tie it back to Yo Gotti. There's a negative stigma that comes with the name of Yo Gotti That's, that comes because of the beef with 3-6 that he has squashed and the negative stigma that comes from Young Dolph not wanting to sign with Yo Gotti. Ever since then, there's always been this negative stigma in the city that I've never understood. And me and Moneybag talked about this in our last interview. Our first interview, actually, when he hadn't even announced that he was going to sign there. I've never understood this. It's the, the stigma that if you sign with Yo Gotti, he's going to screw you over. I've never understood that. As a matter of fact, the artists who haven't made it under Yo Gotti's um, wing, they'll be the first to tell you that is their fault. That is their fault. That's all I'm going to say without saying too much. That's all I'm going to say without saying too much. You do the math and you, you figure it out who I'm talking about. Um, with that being said, I look at an artist like Black Youngster who's thriving in music right now. And not just on a local level. The dude is never in town because the dude is everywhere making music. I'm so happy for Black Youngster. So happy for him and B-Mims and the team. You look at a guy like Moneybag, yo, who I'm telling y'all now, by the end of 2017, he'll be in that Ram. Everybody from Memphis knows Moneybag, yo, is a star. It's done. He's a star. The music is there. Everything else is trying to get caught up. The music is, music is already there. Shout out to Littles. Um, so I don't understand that stigma. Me, I, I believe a lot of people believe God, he should sign more artists out of Memphis, but Gotti's a, a, a CEO. He's a brand. He's like, look, 
You do the work, you get your name bubbling, and I'll come in and make it worth your while. Young Dolph's the only guy that didn't sign with Yo Gotti to go on and really be successful in music out of my city. Really just hit it mainstream. Black Youngster has even said, and, and I've been told this from someone in the camp anyway. Yo Gotti, let me make this clear to you guys, because y'all gonna somebody gonna get this misconstrued. Yo Gotti has no problems with Young Dolph. There is no beef on Yo Gotti's side of Young Dolph. In the words of Black Youngster, Gotti actually likes what Dolph is doing. He, I'm not I'm not misquoting anybody. He actually liked the moves that Dolph has made. He don't understand the angle from the beef. And from Dolph's side, he's always felt that Yo Gotti has taken swig shots at him. I was listening to CM9, and I did hear one line. And I, I thought, and when I, the first time I listened to it, I thought maybe it was a stab at guy, uh, Dolph from Gotti. But it's all speculation. Who knows? There's a lot of people that don't like Gotti in Memphis. A lot of people that love him. This is the one that, and I'm going to get to what, what's going on in a sec. This is, I heard a line, and it went like this. I think it's like, they got the city divided. Tried to bring them together, something like that. Them fuck niggas, I tried it, all right? It's like that. So when I tell you that Young Dolph just dropped one of the most disrespectful diss tracks I've heard from mainstream artists, not from no local shit, from like a mainstream perspective. Both of these guys have had mainstream success, multiple mainstream successes. It is one of the most disrespectful songs. And a lot of people are like, why didn't Dolph respond to Black Youngsters shake some record that's been everywhere in every club where Youngster says, Dolph, you ain't putting no work. You a hoe on the low low talking about you the plug best friend. Fuck nigga. And y'all can finish the rest. Young Dolph believes, and he's said this on interview, that Black Youngster is only doing what his CEO tells him. So Young Dolph believes Black Youngster only dis... Um, him because of Gotti saying that. I don't believe that is the case. Again, Young Dolph is entitled to his own opinion. I have nothing but love for Young Dolph and their whole team. Um, with that being said, there are some people who believe Young Dolph trying to heat back up, got new music on the way. This is a good strategic move to diss somebody in the city. There's other believe that it, that's not the per, per priority for Young Dolph. He really don't like this dude. He's really smashing his baby mama. I'm not going to get into that because it's, it's very disrespectful. You see the cover art for this disc re record, and um, you hear it. You hear it. You hear it. You feel it. You feel the energy. It says, Ho Gotti. All right? So I want to get into a few of the, li the lyrics from this disc record. Dolph said, heard your intro the last two mixtapes. I heard you shit slick dissing. That shit lame. All that make-believe rapping about cocaine. Don't play with me, Ho Gotti. You a hoe, man. You went from my biggest fan to my biggest hater, begging me to sign with you, but I had too much paper. He went on to say his team earns his draws and makes them call him boss. He said he'd be in North Memphis more than he got he does. Called Cocaine Music Group, Cocaine Music Faggots. I've been sparing y'all for five years. I'm the same nigga that's been putting food on your big brother table. Tell your fat ass big sister... Which is he talking about one of Gotti's brothers? He a bitch. Um, first and foremost, it's absolutely disrespectful. Absolutely. I'm gonna reach out to Young Dolph to try to get him on the line for an interview. I just called out a, a couple times. I got no answer. I'm gonna reach back again. I'm gonna try to reach out to Dolph, try to get him on the line at some point soon, hopefully. The irony is that a year next week or the week after next, Dolph put out the King of Memphis and Gotti put out the Art of Hustle. Um we know where this is leading. I'm 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 very upset from the standpoint Dolph and Gotti they move in different waves. They won't run into each other unless it's CIAA where the two teams have confronted each other the last two years. Other than that they don't run into each other. They're not even in Memphis that much. The, what disappoints me is the fact that these young niggas move at the snap of their fingers. And I don't like that. But I will say this. I've been somebody who said, God, he's not going to respond to respond to Dolph. He's not going to do it. He's bigger than that. He's about paper. He's about paper. He's about paper. Um, 
Dolph has positioned himself to a point where this record is going to get some play in some clubs. Um, the name of the record is Ho Gotti. I believe it's time for Gotti to respond to Young Dolph, and that'll be the the headline that will come out of this this vlog. Uh, I believe it's time for Yo Gotti to, to to respond to Young Dolph. I hate to say that Young Dolph is literally trying to get a response out of him. It's time. Um, do I believe that that guy is gonna do it? Nah, I think he'll pass it on. He'll just keep doing him, but it's getting too disrespectful. And and this one is actually a hard record. You remember like how back to back was? By the way, back to back. Let me let me rephrase that. Back to back was the most disrespectful for mainstream. This is number two for me. Remember how back to back was, and you were kind of like, "Wow, Drake in a nice way." Really disrespected Meek Mill, and and Meek Mill had to hear this record in clubs. It was Grammy nominated. Hell, now this record won't be Grammy nominated for obvious reasons. But will Gotti have to hear this one in the club? Maybe so. What does this do? This is that that notion of now we got to be concerned how we book these two artists. They can't be on the same radio shows or can't be on the big festivals together. Um. Dolph more than Gotti because Gotti would get that nod over Dolph if he came to it because Down in the DM is a bigger record than any of the two have. But, I mean, Dolph wanted to take it here, guys. Again, I'm going to reach out to Young Dolph again for an interview. I'll try it again. But, I mean, it doesn't get any more disrespectful. First and foremost, he says he's on, he's smashing his baby mom, Gotti's baby mom. It doesn't get more disrespectful than this, guys. I don't know what to tell y'all. I know this would be a big vlog. I understand that. Um, so closing here, I will say that I hope these two brothers can work it out. Dolph doesn't seem to be talking. Gotti hasn't, like, from a negotiating standpoint, Gotti not saying anything at all. Um, even Youngster has said he was off the beef. He ain't doing no more rap beef. But, I mean, after a record like this, it's at the point where you just got to feel like that energy is. Dolph is one of the coolest niggas I've ever met in my life. I don't understand it. He just do not rock with this one guy. Literally. Rocks with everybody else. Just don't rock with this one guy. I don't understand it. But that is the situation at hand. I tried to, I kind of briefed over some things. Again, I'm not trying to create any conflict in the city. I don't even live there anymore. So, you know, I don't want to create anything worse. I know I got a big, big uh, support base in Memphis. Alfred Teller Farrell, Mr. Teller Farrell TV. What do you think about this new Young Dolph disc record? If, if y'all need me to, y'all start coming and I'll put the link to the record in the description. If y'all want me to um, talk to me in the comment box below about this record, Young Dolph and Yo Gotti's, I guess you can call it beef now. Is it beef if only one person is talking? Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I'm going to reach out to Dolph again. I'm going to try to get this nigga on the line, man. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. My website relaunches March 1st. My website relaunches March 1st. Memphis, my website relaunches March 1st. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at